Hi Libras and welcome to your relationship profile reading. This is the Dream Medium. So in case you are unfamiliar with my relationship profile readings, just know that you will be getting a three-in-one reading where I will give you a past, present, and future spread about what happened between you and your partner and what will happen in the future. So Libras, just understand that I do post um, these relationship profile readings for each 12 zodiac signs. I do post these relationship profile readings every two months. So I'm just going to go ahead and shuffle the cards for you. Now remember that this is a general reading, okay? So only take what applies. take what applies. If something doesn't apply, you don't have to force it. Just leave it. I'm going to shuffle it twice more. Ooh. That was a mess. Two more times, you guys. Two more times. So I'm kind of getting like a, a moody feeling for you guys. I don't know. This is your month, Libra, so let me do it one more time. Something's telling me to do it one more time. But yeah, I'm getting like a moody feeling for you guys. Happy birthday, by the way, to my Libras. Alrighty, so let's see what you have. Have the Hermit. You have the Ten of Cups, Knight of Swords, Queen of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles. So I don't take reversals. I think I kind of messed up when I was shuffling, so some of the cards got upside down. And this is your future. Okay, so I don't have enough space to show all three spreads, but once we're done talking about your past and your present, I will definitely be showing you your future. Interesting how um, when I... So while I was shuffling the cards, one card did kind of fall out. I think a couple cards slipped from my hand. And the card that fell out was this Hermit card. And so I put it back in the deck, in the spread, and I shuffled like twice more, and the Hermit still popped out. And it's so interesting because I said I was getting like a moody feeling. Um, so... I'm just going to go ahead and ask for a couple clarity cards. So clarify the hermit. I don't like to see this card come out <laughs> at all. Give me one more clarity on the hermit. Okay, that could explain this moody. That's crazy how I literally said I was feeling like a moody energy and the hermit popped up clarify the ten of cups well we do have the ten of cups so hopefully that's some good news will of fortune give me one more clarity on the ten of cups 
I'm just gonna put it down here. Oh, okay. Clarify the Knight of Swords. Clarify the Knight of Swords. All right. This is going to be an interesting reading. I can tell already. So, Libras. Um, now, like I said, you will be getting a past, present, and future spread in this reading. So the top three cards represents your past, and the bottom three cards represents your present. So let's just talk about your past spread. You do have the Hermit card, you have the Ten of Cups, and the Knight of Swords. And so when I asked for clarity on this Hermit card, the Three of Cups came out. And so really the hermit, kind of like a like the hermit crab, you know, they isolate themselves. So whenever I see the hermit card, I see an individual who, first of all, intuitively I'm getting that there has been a lack of communication or there was a lack of communication since this is your past spread. So even if there were com even if there was communication between you and your partner partner Libra, it wasn't great communication. Um I'm even getting the word in, inconsistent. So for some of you guys, the communication was on and off. It's like one day they would communicate with you and talk on the phone with you or, you know, go on dates and everything seemed fine. And then the next day they just like ghosted you. A lot of you guys even got ghosted. But there was this inconsistency with your person, Libras, and... I'm really seeing that that caused a lot of confliction with you guys because you started to wonder if it was you, if it was something that you did to make this person, you know, separate themselves from you or to make this person act so unstable around you. But I'm here to tell you that it wasn't anything that you did wrong um, because I'm, I'm just really strongly seeing that a lot of my Libras you kind of blamed yourself. You felt like it was something that you did or said to cause this person to just have a completely different attitude towards you. But just understand that the person that you're dealing with, they're very um, unstable. Um, it's like, it's sort of, it's so odd because I'm seeing them as just like a really flaky person. Like you can, you can never really pinpoint who they are. It's like, I'm even getting something about their personality. A lot of them are, a lot of them, you know, not to be rude, but a lot of them have tendencies to be two-faced. So it's like the way they act in front of you is very different from how they truly feel. So a lot of them are not being honest with you. It's like they're telling you one thing, but their actions says otherwise. Um... Mm, yeah, that's just what I'm seeing. And it's almost like when the two of you are together, they act like everything's fine. But deep down, it's not. But they're not telling you that. Very interesting. But it's very sad because for you guys, you know, you took that as, well, is it something that I'm doing? You know, is it something that I said? What can I do better? I'm seeing that you sort of took on that blame. But like I said, it had nothing to do with you. You're simply dealing with an indecisive person. But you were certainly in your past, you were carrying this hermit energy where you sort of just isolated yourself from, from other people because you were so heavily in your mind wow and so when I when I like I said when I asked for clarity on the hermit card you got the three of cups right the three of cups came out now generally the three of cups can either represent 
a third party situation or a celebration. Now, considering the card that it is clarifying, because this Three of Cups clarified this, this Hermit card. So what I'm seeing here with this Three of Cups is there was certainly a third party situation. There was nothing to celebrate about because if there was something to celebrate about, you wouldn't have been carrying this Hermit energy. I'm also intuitively, I'm seeing that you used to compare yourself to other people because of your partner, because of how your partner was acting that kind of made you insecure. And if, if they were definitely, if they were dealing with a third party that made you even more insecure and you, you had tendencies to compare your, compare yourself to that third party. But like I said, it's nothing, it has nothing to do with you. When you're, when you're dealing with an indecisive person, there is nothing that you can do because change comes from within. Perhaps they were even indecisive before they met you. Think of it that way. This person may have had their own, you know, inner, inner demons to deal with before you came into their life. It had nothing to do with you. I promise you that. I even asked for another clarity card and the nine of swords came out. So this nine of swords is like it just took the words right out my mouth. This is confliction. This is being mentally tormented, like haunted by what happened. So much to the point where you can't sleep. See how this gentleman here, he's in bed but, you know, he's worried. He's still feeling a lot of pain from what happened in his past. Next, you have the Ten of Cups. So when I asked for clarity on the Ten of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune came out. So I'm certainly seeing that in the past... There was either a breakup and the two of you got back together or there was never a breakup. Perhaps you just dealt with it. But the connection continued. Some way, somehow it continued. Whether there was a separation and then a reunion or whether you just dealt with what they were putting you through, it continued. Because this is a general reading. So just, you know, apply it to your situation. Now... The second clarity card, let's just talk about the second clarity card that you got, which was the Hierophant. The Hierophant is, when I got this, you know, intuitively when I looked at this card, I got the word decision, like decision making. So you either decided to reunite with this person after the separation, if there was a separation, or you decided to just stay with them, regardless of what they were putting you through. But going back to this Wheel of Fortune, it's it's telling me that you got another chance with this person. Like, not just you, but the two of you got another chance to make this work. But there's some karmic lessons that the two of you, more so your partner, needs to needs to learn. It's like, there's good fortune, you know, the two of you, the potential is there, the two of you had a second chance, but it's more so as if the two of you had a second chance because there was still a lesson that your partner wasn't learning. That's very interesting. Because I'm not saying that this is a lesson that you needed to know. This is not a lesson for you, but more so your partner. But we'll see what this lesson is. But to simply put it, a decision was made and the two of you got a second chance. Now, going back to this Ten of Cups, though, you know, 
this is, I always say the Ten of Cups is like that happily ever after. It's such an, such an ideal card. Ten represents completion, and there's even a rainbow in the back. So this is completion, um, satisfaction, fulfillment. So certainly, you know, certainly the universe gave you guys a second chance in this connection. But it's like there's some karmic energy that I'm strongly sensing that in the past, you know, it just made it so hard for you to to really get get back together or really make the connection work. Now, next you have the Knight of Swords in your past spread. The Knight of Swords is a very passionate individual, but sometimes they let their passion turn them reckless. Um, the Knight of Swords, whenever I see it, I see it as something spontaneously happening. Like a person or a, a past lover spontaneously popping up, you know, popping back up in your life. Now, when I did ask for clarity on the Knight of Swords, the Judgment card came out. As well as the Two of Pentacles. So let's talk about this two of pentacles because this is indecision. This is a person who is juggling. It's like I'm seeing that they tried to come they they came back certainly. I mean, we already we already uh, established that because like I said the two of you um got a second chance in this connection to make things work but it's it's about how they came back when they came back they came back with the knight energy and knights are notoriously known for being players they're very charming sweet talkers very passionate and incredibly determined to get what they want but they're also known to be passionate about someone one day and then passionate about another person the next day so they came back into your life for this reunion very passionately. I'm even seeing that for some of you guys, they very immaturely tried to get your attention um, in order to initiate this reunion, but they knew that they still had some baggages, which was that third party because they were juggling. They needed to make a decision and they were refusing to with this judgment card. Because you can't dwell into something as in they can't just come rushing back to you knowing that they still haven't let go of that third party. <sighs> Y'all heard how I heavily sighed. I was like, I was like, <sighs> because your person is just all over the place. Now, let's talk about your present spread. So what's going on right now between you and your partner? You do have the Queen of Swords, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Four of Pentacles. So when I look at this Queen of Pentacles, you know, the Queen of Pentacles is sort of like, a person who has been really hurt by their partner and they're just waiting for their partner to come towards them so that they can give them a piece of their mind. But this is a very cutting energy, an individual who's very hurt. And so their attitude is, is quite nasty. They're defensive towards the person who hurt them. Clarify the Queen of Swords. Clarify the Queen of Swords. Mm. So currently you're carrying this Queen of Swords energy because you know that you're dealing with the trickster. The magician, you know, magicians make the impossible possible. They try to make something look like what it's not. You know, deception. That's what the Magician card is telling me. A huge, huge tr trickster. And the Nine of Cups is telling me that their ego, they have, they have a huge ego. It's sort of like they feel 
they feel in, entitled to you. They feel like there's this like really possessive and controlling energy that they have towards you. It's sort of like they feel like they can just do whatever they want with you because they've done it before. Like they, they can do they can do things and just get away with it. They feel like they're so smart and they're so sneaky because they've gotten away with with being sneaky in the past. It's like, oh, you know, she'll be back or she'll take me back or he, you know, he'll take me back. There's an overload of confidence that they're carrying despite knowing what they did to you. Next, you even have the Seven of Pentacles. Clarify the Seven of Pentacles. Oh, wow. Give me one more clarity on the Seven of Pentacles. So... In Clarity of the Seven of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups first came out. Now, the potential is there and this person knows it. Your partner knows that this connection has a lot of potential. They know that they have the opportunity to settle down with you. Like I said, they're very cocky because they know that whatever they want from you, you'll give it. They know that any day, any time, if you decide to settle down with them, you will accept them back in your life. But they are certainly they're certainly aware of the potential in this connection. But Okay, there's something about your partner where I'm seeing it's almost like they are afraid of the unknown. They are afraid of the unknown. They're afraid of getting themselves into something and not knowing the outcome, not knowing how it would turn out. That's their problem. That's their fear. It's like if I jump into this serious commitment, how is it going to turn out? Hmm. Perhaps this person has experienced something in their past that makes them so afraid of settling down. Some of them even feel like they're not ready, like they don't know what they're getting themselves into. And that's what scares them the most. The potential is there, but they're afraid. This is interesting. Maybe they feel like it's too good to be true. Because the second clarity card on this seven of pentacles here, the second clarity card was this four of swords. The four of swords is a person who is ignoring a very serious issue. It's like a person who's trying to act like everything's okay. They're trying their hardest to pretend as if this doesn't mean anything to them, but it does. Which is why if you'll see here, this gentleman is like, he's trying to get a peace of mind, but he's surrounded by, by swords. So he can't get a peace of mind because every time he does try to try to rest, he's, he's thinking about this connection. He's thinking, he's thinking about his fears. And he's very much aware that he has caused a lot of heartbreak because he's thinking about it. It's like you can pretend all you want, but at the end of the day, you're going to be reminded of what you did. There's a lot of fear in this person. And I'm seeing that it stems from their past, which was why which was why I said perhaps it's something that happened to them in their past. 
maybe some form of like childhood trauma. It's like there's so much, and even for the for the third clarity card that came out was the Ten of Pentacles. This is an overload of potential and abundance in this connection, but ironically, that's what scares your partner. Hmm. Very interesting person you're dealing with. Clarify the Four of Pentacles. Clarify the Four of Pentacles. Clarify the... Hmm. Okay, so very soon... If this person doesn't get over their fear, they're going to get a lot of regrets. Because what I'm seeing here is the Tower card. The Tower card came out to clarify the Four of Pentacles. Very soon what I'm seeing here is... Very soon the roles will be switched is like the tables turn if they don't stop running away from this very very abundant connection that has so much potential if if they don't face their fear i mean whatever it is that they're afraid of i'm telling you it stems from their past it has nothing to do with you directly and i even remember telling you that when i first started your spread your reading if they don't stop running away, it's like this this runner runner chaser, runner chaser energy. If they don't stop that, sooner or later the energies will switch and they will be the ones having to prove themselves to you. They will be the ones chasing you. See this tower moment here. You know, the tower moment is not a bad thing. The tower moment is sort of like when something suddenly happens to bring our attention bring bring our attention to something that we have been either ignoring or something that we haven't haven't realized but whatever this tower moment is whether it's that you get fed up and you and you separate yourself from them whether it's that you find a new person whatever it whatever it is that happens because this is a general reading it's going, it's like the tables will turn and then they're gonna be the partner doing the chasing very, very soon. It's going to happen. And they're going to be the one begging begging and pleading. So much to the point where it's going to leave them, them into a lot of disappointment. I mean, this is the Five of Cups. This is a person who is crying over spilled milk. That's what the Five of Cups is. This individual here is mourning. These three cups have spilled over and they're mourning. But if they could just stop crying, turn around, they'll see these two cups. You know, it's like, yes, these three cups have fallen, fallen over, but there's still an opportunity. There's going to be heavy, heavy regret. Heavy, heavy regret. And I'm seeing that for a really good amount of you guys, Libras. It's the fact that you're going to find someone else interesting it's like there's going to be another potential new lover around you and I don't blame you for seeking other people a lot of you guys it's not even something it's in, intentional you know and that's just what happens when you when you expect someone to chase you all the time who knows one day they're going to stumble upon someone who they don't have to chase someone who will actually value them and not run away from such a beautiful connection so I was saying that I'm just going to go ahead and show you your future spread. All right, so your future spread. You do have the nine of pentacles, the devil, and the queen of cups.
Wow. So I do want to ask for clarity on, let's see, clarify the nine of pentacles. Ooh, this one. Strength card. Clarify the nine of pentacles. Mmm. Clarify the nine of pentacles. Page of wands. Clarify the nine of pentacles. Oh my gosh. Not again. Clarify the devil card. Clarify the devil card. Clarify the queen of cups. Clarify the queen of cups. One more clarity on the queen of cups. Alright, so I did take a handful of clarity cards. Now, starting with the Seven of Pentacles, when I asked for clarity, the Strength card came out, Page of Wands came out, and lastly, the Three of Swords came out. So, really what I'm seeing with this Nine of Pentacles, it's like... This indecision, I've never, you know, seen someone so indecisive. It's like they don't want to let you go because they know the potential is there. But they don't want to settle down with you. And that's very unfair because your partner can't expect to have the best of both worlds. If they're going to leave, then they need to leave. They can't keep on, you know, doing that in and out energy where they come and go, come and go, come and go. Because I'm telling you with this nine of pentacles, it's like they just want you all to themselves, but not to nurture, not to settle down with. It's just, it's like they see the potential and they don't want someone else to come and take what they once had, but they're not willing to value what they have. This is very, very toxic. And even, even with the strength card that came out, it's just telling me that you've been putting up with this energy, this in and out energy with them for too long, for far too long. You guys have a lot of patience. I'm even seeing with the strength card that some of you guys, you're not aware of this, but by you continuously taking them back, it's sort of like you're encouraging them in a way to continue this energy because they feel like you're always going to be there. They feel like you'll always be there waiting on them. So that's, that's you know, it's like adding more fuel to the fire. It's like encouraging them. It's like you're telling them that they can go about, act reckless, entertain other people, get into third party situations because you're still going to be there. And a lot of you guys are not aware of that. I mean, no one would intentionally be that way. So I'm not really blaming you guys, but I'm just letting you guys know that sometimes your tolerance and your patience is what really encourages them to continue this energy because they feel like you're always going to be there. That they can always just come back at any time. And even with this page of wands here, I'm very strongly seeing that because they feel like you're, you're always going to be there. It's like, it's just this, I'm just seeing this energy where they don't want to completely let you go. The, the potential is, 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 is very much there, but they don't want to let that go. So it's kind of like while they're still 
keeping you on the side. They're keeping someone else on the side with this third with this third party situation. This is just double the conf confirmation. You have the three of swords. And you will be aware of their third party stuff, chaos that they, they partake in. In the future, you will know. And that's their problem. That's their problem is their fear to settle down. So much to the point where they sabotage something with so much potential. Even they know the potential in this connection. But they sabotage it by not being able to freaking stay with one person. Even I'm getting frustrated. Next, you have the Devil card. So this Devil card, if you don't already know, the Devil card represents heavy, heavy, heavy toxicity. And I'm not shocked that this Devil card came out. Heavy, heavy toxicity. The Devil card can even represent a karmic tie to each other. Like, car you know, you guys are karmically, if that's even a word, bound to each other. And I remember even saying that in your past, it's like there's some karmic lessons to be learned in this connection for the both of you, but more so for your partner. Now, in Clarity of the Devil card, the Page of Pentacles and the King of Swords came out. The King of Swords actually came out first when I was shuffling for Clarity. This is extremely, I'm sorry you guys, but I just have to be honest. This is extremely unhealthy. Extremely unhealthy. Because the King of Swords here is telling me that this connection is having a negative effect on you. I'm seeing, how do I say this? It's almost like. It's, it's affecting who you are as a person, who the both of you, it's like the two of you bring out the worst in each other, whether that's aggressive arguments, yelling, shouting, you know, saying cuss words at each other, just, just a lot of nasty attitude. That's what I'm seeing. Doing things out of character, doing things that you, you typically wouldn't do, that you have never done before, but you, you've been doing it because this person is like, they just bring out so much anger. They bring out the worst in you. And what even confirms that this is an extremely toxic connection is the Page of Pentacles. It's like every time it happens, they come back with an offer. It's like you scream, you fight, you yell at, yell at each other, say hurtful things, do things out of character. You know, stop talking for a couple days and then a few, few days later, two of you are back together. That's not healthy. That's not what love is. I'll tell you that. It's not. That's not what a relationship is all about. Relationships are not supposed to be like this. But if, if you've been in this for so long, if you've, if you've been with this person, dealing with this person for so long, it's like, that's all you've ever known. And so you settle with it, you get comfortable with it, but you got to snap out of it and realize that this is not normal. You even have the queen of cups. Now, 
when I asked for clarity on the Queen of Cups, the Five of Wands first came out, followed by the Ace of Swords. Lastly, Nine of Wands. So this is very clear. What this is telling me is that the outcome lies within your hand. You can always choose to walk away and not be tempted by this person to go back. But it's like you're so determined and so stubborn and so passionate to be with this person to the point where, like I said, it's like you, you, you enable them. You enable them to, to act this way because they feel like at the end of the day, you'll always be the one wanting them back, wanting to be together. And this five of wands is saying that the longer you guys stay together, the more, the worse things get. The intense, the more intense the arguments get, the disagreements get, the more, the more parties will be involved. From, from them dealing with one other person, now they're dealing with multiple other people. It gets worse. And it gets worse because you tolerate it. it. You're going to be tolerating it. And even, even this Ace of Swords, this is my bingo card because this is telling me that you're willing to fight for this. You consider this connection your prized possession and you're willing to do whatever it takes, even if it will feel like a war, like a battlefield. Excuse me, you'll be willing to protect what you have and to defend what you have, even if it will hurt you while you do it. And even with this Knight of Wands is saying, you'll be able to put up with it, but it's going to affect you. I mean, look at this Nine of Wands here. This this gentleman here, he's he's ill. He's hurt. You know, it's like it's like he it's like there was a war and he barely made it. So it's, this connection is going to feel like you're not really living. It's going to feel like you're just surviving. That's a big difference. Wow. So, Libras, I really wish that this was, you know, a happy ending reading. I didn't even expect for it to take this turn. But I have to I have to speak on what I see. I can't sugarcoat anything because that would be, you know, that wouldn't be that wouldn't be uh, truthful of me. So but thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that this resonates with with some of you. If it doesn't, that's completely fine. There will be more readings on your sign. Um, so just take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you would like a personal reading, please visit my website. The link is in the description box. I have a variety of readings of all prices. I believe my readings start at like $30. So um, I even offer this relationship profile reading as a personal reading. So you can purchase this relationship profile reading for your specific situation. Thank you guys so much and you have a great day.